everybody. This is FishingWithVance.com. Today we're going to do a little bit of a product review with uh, this Hummingbird Fishing Buddy Max that we have used here for the past summer. So we just wanted to share with you what our experience was here with this particular product. Hopefully see if anybody else has had similar experiences, uh, good or bad. Please make sure that you guys leave some comments and uh, we'll let you know how this all turns out whenever it's all said and done. So let's get to the product so obviously as you can see and as you know we have the hummingbird fishing buddy max bought this for vance so that he could use this on his pelican boat and obviously you guys know about our pelican boat from all of our previous videos that we have pelican 10 uh, modifications and uh, similar videos like that and uh, how much we really really love that boat so what we wanted to do is be able to get an application like this so that we can put it on the boat so that we would have a little bit of uh, seeing power into the water as we were fishing so this seemed like the perfect uh, application for that so as you can see here we got it all laid out for you here's the mounting unit here's the actual unit itself here's the housing then for that that ties into the mounting this can actually Come right out of that like that. Now we'll go down into there. So pretty simple application overall. Not a lot of bells and whistles with that. Here's the actual electronics then up here. So this can rotate, etc., depending on uh, where you're at, how you uh, are going to mount this to the boat. You got a couple of the different mounting screws here, depending on what you have going on. So couple of the things that we found out right off the bat that if you're going to mount this to a pelican basically it needs to either go on the front or the back of the pelican normally where one of the motors would go that wasn't an option for us because we're we are going to run a dual motor system on our pelican in order to, to make sure that we can get um, into the spots that we want to get so we had to go to the side one of the things then we found out right off the bat there was really no good way to mount this to the side of the pelican. We had to put pieces of wood, shims in here, etc. Just never really felt good about the fit that we had. Um, any way that we put it, it just, it was okay. Uh, just didn't really feel that good. We didn't have a lot of confidence in it. The other thing then that we had is that as you had it mounted to the side and you would go, and I don't think that this matters whether it was on the side or the front, with this particular setup that they have with how the actual electronics and the transducer fit into the mount if there was any kind of resistance that hit here onto the actual unit made it really hard in order to keep this thing very stable so if you hit any kind of weeds or any kind of obstruction at all this thing basically popped right out so you would be cruising along, you didn't have to go that fast, and all of a sudden this thing was flying out. So in order to avoid that, we actually used some different cable straps and actually strapped this unit in there in order to make sure obviously it wasn't going to fall out. You know, if you have this on the boat, that's one thing. If this thing's sitting on the bottom of the lake, that's another thing. Um, so that was obviously no good. Didn't really enjoy that very easy to pop this thing out <clears throat> and as you can see uh, depending on what what you're doing where you're going if you got some resistance that's going to pop right out of there so we strapped that down we had that and then uh, we used it for a couple different times and everything was okay but then what we found out is that as we use it for another time or two that the electronics then basically didn't work so we're going to give you an example here of what we had going on. This is currently off. This particular unit requires eight AA batteries in order to work. And what we found, it sucks through the batteries pretty quick. Uh, we have eight brand new fresh batteries that are in here right now. I'm going to power this thing on. And then there's what you get. Now this doesn't matter whether you're on the water or not. This is exactly what we saw. And as you can see, that screen is flickering and going all over the place. So can't really do anything with that. So 
one of the things that I would always encourage anybody if you're buying high-end electronics is that you got to make sure that you have the warranty with it. And that is exactly what we did. Uh, we bought the extended warranty with it. Which is right here. So this, with this, is going to go back into this. And this thing is going to go back to Hummingbird. And we're going to see what they say about it, what the issue is. Um, hopefully it should be pretty much flawless. We shouldn't really have an issue with it. Obviously we have the warranty, which I purchased. And we will let you guys know what happens with that on the second installment of this whenever they get back to us. So we just wanted to share this with you. We know that not all the reviews that are out there are always um, positive. I really don't have a problem with this particular product. Um, you know, it's okay. It didn't really work for our particular application. But then I think that we expected a little bit more out of it than this, uh, especially for only having it for the short amount of time. So we're going to send it back. We'll let you guys know what happens with it, and then we will go from there. If anybody else has had similar experiences with this particular product, please leave it in the comments below uh, how it was handled, what worked, what didn't work, so that then uh, we can go from there and that everybody, hopefully, that watches this can learn. So. We appreciate you guys taking the time and checking us out here at fishingwithvance.com. Please make sure that you like the video. Share it with your friends. You and your friends then also subscribe to the video. And uh, you know what we do, when we do, what we do here at fishingwithvance.com. Fish on. Welcome to Miller Town.